Welcome to activity 1.10, reading a floor plan for green architecture. All right, when you are ready, you are going to be in the module. I believe we are in module six these days. So we're in module six and we're cruising along down here. Uh, this is our last day of module six, Tuesday, and we are the 3rd of November already. And what we're working on today is reading a floor plan. So you can go ahead and uh, you'll watch the video as you're doing now. Then you'll click into the floor plan. Notice that this is due on the 3rd. So we'll start this in class. And it's uh, due as homework tonight if you don't quite get it done. So back to our activity. It's worth 25 points. The introduction to this activity says floor plans are scale diagrams of a room or floor of a house or building drawn by an architect. Floor plans will show the location of walls, doors, and windows, as well as built-in features like cabinets and fireplaces. And as you look down on them from like a bird's eye view, it's like you're cutting the room off four feet above the floor and looking straight down on it. That's what a floor plan is supposed to give you the impression of. Uh, it is the house floor plan that will clearly give the homeowner the complete idea about the dimensions of the, each room and the square footage. With the floor plans, the homeowners can decide how many rooms there will be and how they will be distributed. So if you look at this floor plan, um, we're going to break that down into several different segments. So you get to choose uh, one of four floor plan scenarios to work with. So in this activity, you will practice reading a floor plan and calculating the area and perimeter of rooms. So we get to work on our math skills a little bit more as they relate to architecture. So using, um, well, you might use your engineering notebook a little bit for sure, a pen or a pencil to take some notes. The floor plan examples that I will provide for you in links here. Uh, you'll need your architect scale, so hopefully you have not lost that yet. We provided that paper architect scale way back near the beginning of our time together, and a calculator may be very handy to calculate your um, calculations for area and perimeter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to answer questions below from the floor plan that you choose. So what you need to do is choose one of the floor plans from the four examples given in the following document. So if you just click on this, that will take you to four floor plan scenarios. And I might have to zoom out just a little bit here to make those smaller for you to see. So there's floor plan one. Here is floor plan two. There is floor plan three. And floor plan four. Four. Okay, so as you are working through these, just a couple details on these. This one is pretty straightforward as being two separate rooms. Hopefully by the furnishings, you can tell what rooms they are. Um, and if you aren't certain, this one probably looks like a living room to me, a family room, something like that. Probably a dining room with a dining room table. Um, obviously, we can tell we've got a bathroom here. Looks like a laundry room, like, like a washer and dryer, uh, perhaps a bedroom. This one, we've got a bathroom as well as a bedroom with a closet. Uh, this particular one looks like we have, uh, it looks like one big room, but it's really two. You can kind of see the kitchen here with the sink, the stove, uh, another sink. We must have a refrigerator in here someplace, probably right there. And this would be like a family room. So as you do this, what you're going to have to do is like uh, have draw an imaginary line right across here to envision that this is the living room. This is the dining room type of thing. So what you'll need to do is go ahead and um, snip a picture of this, and then we'll go back and add it into the document. Okay, choose one of those four that you'd like to work with and then snip it in right here. That'll make life a little easier to work with so I can tell what you're working with as well. And then answer some questions. What types of rooms are on your floor plan? Uh, what To what area does each of these rooms belong? Remember we talked about that in one of the previous activities. We had sleeping, 
service and living areas. So tell me which ones they belong to. And then lifts the types of furniture, fixtures, appliances, and things like that that you see in each of the rooms. Uh, some of these you're going to have only two rooms. Some you have three rooms. The third room is pretty small in most cases. And then answer some more questions. How many windows are there in your floor plan? You should be able to recognize windows by now, the symbols for them. How many doors are in your floor plan? We know door symbols by now. And then to properly measure your floor plan, set the zoom of your Chromebook to 150% so you can get some accurate measurements that way with your architect scale. This time we'll be using the quarter inch equals one foot scale. Quarter inch equals one foot scale. In fact, I think I'll highlight that so it jumps out at you a little bit. Quarter inch scale. Um, you've got some questions to ask. Um, what's the area of the room? You need to show me your work. Using your, again, your quarter inch scale. Um, what you're going to do next is figure out what is the area of the second room. And finally, if you have a third room, continue to use your quarter inch scale and we'll measure the area for that. Of course, you're showing me the work for all of those. At least plug in the numbers uh, into your formula. I think we all know by now what the area formula is. Show me that formula, please. And then you got some conclusion questions. Calculate how many square feet of tile you would need to purchase for one of the rooms. And you have to tell me, which room are you working with? How much would it cost for ceramic tile if it cost this much a foot? What would it cost for travertine tile if it cost this much a foot? And then let's consider things like wallpaper border that goes around the top edge of your room. What room? Calculate that and the cost. And then if this was your house, how would you change the furniture and or appliance arrangements and why? And some people like to take the, the easy way out or I think maybe the lazy way out and say, oh, it's fine. That's not an option. You get to make some changes regardless. Okay, so if it was your house, how could you change the furniture? And then think about that a little bit. Would that make the room more energy efficient? Hmm. Starting to talk about green architecture, getting more into that side of things. If the changes you make, would they make it more efficient? You need to answer that. And when you're all done, simply submit in Schoology for me to check out how well you've done. And that, my friends, is an overview and instructions for activity 1.10, reading a floor plan. Looking forward to seeing your work. See you soon.